how to succeed in this business. This business is not about enrolling. It's not about you being the best. It's not about you knowing all the information. If the newest person in your organization doesn't know this information, then you will not, you will not succeed in this business. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. This business is built off of duplication. And here's another thing. The person that you enroll in this business, if they can't teach the newest person, then your business will not grow. So some of you guys right now are about to enroll someone in your organization and you really can't teach them anything. That's really bad. That's really bad. It's really bad. This business is like Facebook with a product or Amazon.com with a very intense compensation plan. There's two ways to build this business. Sponsor dependent and system dependent. If this business is sponsor dependent, that's like, yeah, I enrolled you, you know nothing, so let me just do calls for you all day long. Or, I enroll you, I know nothing, so you know nothing. So what's going to happen is the upline is going to have to do a shit ton of calls for that person and just going to sit and have to do calls, 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 calls all day long, all day long, and they don't know any information. And they're like, yeah, i got to talk to all your friends because you don't know anything. Or the person who enrolled you doesn't know anything, so you just don't know anything. So you both are just like ducks, just don't know what to do. You're just like walking around. You know ducks? Everyone's like, and then one duck, and you just follow. <laughs> no, is that true? Is that what ducks do? Like one little duck, everyone's like, and everyone just starts following. No, they don't, there's no direction. An eagle, there's a, it doesn't matter what comes through. Eagles just bites. It just doesn't make sense. It knows its direction. It looks, and it just goes, right? So you need to learn this information. That's what I want to teach you right now. Step one is you need... <clears throat> You need to know, and you can put a little hyphen, you need to know your back office. You need to know your back office, right? And within your back office, you can put maybe like a little even indent into that, is enrolling. You need to know how to enroll someone. That's like, I just opened up a McDonald's. And I don't know how to hire someone. That's weird. <laughs> like you need to know how to expand your business. Does that make sense? Yeah. So you have to learn how to enroll someone. Learn how to have someone order product. Put them in your organization the correct the correct way. So uplines don't get calls like, yeah, dude, I totally wanted to put him in my left group, but he's in my right group. It's like, okay. <laughs> like, you know, obviously there's mistakes that happen, but you need to know how to actually do that. Does that make sense? Enroll someone, mm -hmm. right? It's very simple. They just go to the product, all this stuff. You shouldn't be like, hey, you know, you know, awesome. How do I like, how do I, how does he order his product? Where do I go to like, you should just know this stuff. Is it true if you want something, you're going to figure it out? Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, that's just how life is. It's the same thing in this business, right? If you want to be the, if you want to be the A student, are you just going to learn this stuff and study and just do it yourself, right? You're just going to do this stuff, right? If you want to be the best at sports, are you going to do a little bit of things other people will do, like maybe sit on, sit at home and look at YouTube and watch other people that play these sports, maybe and learn a little bit. Maybe someone else is not doing that. That's why you become better, right? Maybe you might read books on a, on a specific subject that other people are. You go out there if you're hungry. No one needs to tell you to eat, right? Mm -hmm. So same thing as business. If you're hungry in this business, no one needs to tell you to go out and do this stuff. If you, really, if you really want to make a lot of money in this, you need to just go out there and learn it yourself. Like, we are here to guide you and to help you. Upline leaders are here to guide you and help you, but we are not here to do your business. Like, you, this business is 100% solely dependent on you. And I know I'm talking a lot about this, and some of the leaders are wondering, we're probably thinking, like, yeah, I focus, I'm focusing on this a lot now. Because there's a lot of people that are becoming very sponsor dependent, very people dependent. And you can never grow that business. How many people want to sit in Hawaii and just sit and make a shit ton of money oh, yeah. and not have to worry about a business, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. If you want to have that lifestyle, then you have to you have to make sure every person in your organization is trained. Mm -hmm. If you have less than 30 people in your organization, how many people have less than 30 people in your organization? They have 30 people or less in your organization. There should be a lot of hands raised. There's just a lot more hands. You have less than four, okay, less than 50 people in your organization. There should be a lot of people. There should be a lot of hands raised. They're like, don't be, there's, that's, don't be like nervous. That's like good. Like you have like 50 or, I mean, that's like, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying you have one person in your organization, but if you have less than 50 people in your organization, you should be in contact with every, per every person in your organization. Mm -hmm. If you have less than 50 people in your group, everyone, down, the newest person that orders product, you should reach, you should, they should know how to train. You should know that the newest person that gets started in your group should know how to tell this stuff, how to know how to say this stuff. They should know how to go to their back office and look at their cycle tracker. They should know how to enroll someone. They should know how to invite. They should know how to edify an upline leader. Like, I'm telling you, these upline leaders, they, it, it's too much work for, like, us to, like, get a message from some guys. Like, hey, bro, yeah, my friend told me you know a little bit about some Bima thing. Like, it's like, what the, what? <laughs> it's like, like, bro, who told you that? And then they give you a name, and then you message that person. Like, bro, who's your upline? Who enrolled you? Like, this person. Who enrolled that person? That person. Who enrolled that person? That person. Who enrolled that person? That person. And you're like, what the hell? Like, I'm, that's really interesting, because that person knows, like, a lot of information. But like here's what happened. The well went dry. Most people only really retain like 75% of the stuff that you're saying. So this person that knows their information, let's say like Julian Tarr, Mr. Julian Tarr, he teaches like he's supposed to do this person. But for whatever reason, this person just doesn't retain everything. 
Well, guess what? That person's going to teach a new person exactly what they know, but because they don't know 100%, it'll be a little less. But what's going to happen is just keeps doing that, keeps doing it, keeps doing that, so the new person gets like 2% of information, yeah. which is basically like get excited about how it So you just have like a motivated idiot that's just like, yeah! <laughs> they're, just like, they're just like fired up at a home event, and they're like, yeah, my friend's getting started, and they put them in the system, and they're like, yeah, and they don't know like what to do. Like, no, seriously, it's like silly, bro. Like, guys, you can make a lot of money in this. Like, for everyone in this group, like, me getting started when there's only three people, I'm telling you the vision with this. I got started when there were only three people. I just turned 20. I'm telling you, the fucking income you make in this is ridiculous. I have no kids. I have no family. I have no job. I have not. Dude, like, five to six grand a month? Like, that is ridiculous. These guys know one of my biggest checks. We get paid weekly in this business. One of my biggest checks was four. It was two and a half weeks ago, and it was four grand. Over $4,000 in a week. The money you make with this, I should be fucking out partying, wearing Louis Vuitton all day long, Gucci, and just doing all this crazy stuff. But I'm not. I'm here. Why? Because I know I have to protect the momentum in this business. Does that make sense? Like, it is crazy the type of lifestyle income you can make, dude. But the only way you can do that is to be the best at this. So everyone right now, needs, you need to know if you want to make a lot of money in this, you need to have the mindset that you're going to be the best. You're going to be better than anyone in this organization. There's nothing wrong with that. We all know healthy competition, right? Yeah. That's a, very, that's a healthy competition. You want to be the best. That's anything in any sport, any industry, it's always the best that get paid the most, right? Doesn't Tiger Woods get fucking paid a lot more than a lot of people in golf, yeah. right? Yep. Doesn't LeBron James get paid a lot more than a lot of people in basketball, right? You know these things. You don't even know these people are, but you know their names. Why? Because they're the freaking best, and they get paid a lot. So it's the same thing in this business. So number one, you need to know back office, how to enroll. The next thing, you need to know compensation plan. Compensation plan. I get it. The first time you look at this, you're not going to understand it the first time. I'll tell you that. You're not going to understand it. But that's silly. Like, when you first went to calculus, did you understand the very first time? Not Most people don't understand it. Like, calculus, everything about calculus the very first time. That's why you have it over and over and over, right? You have calculus, you have to calc again, calc again, or pre calc it just keeps going. You're learning those same things, right? The teacher goes over what you learned last year and then just adds to that, stuff like that, right? You're not going to learn it the very first time. But is that good? Are you just like, oh, I don't get that. I'm never going to do this. I don't want to do this anymore. Like, dude. It'll take you some time to learn this, but the point is, is you need to learn the compensation plan. You need to learn how much people get paid when they order a silver pack, right? You need to know. Silver pack's like 140, 140 cans. Someone gets paid $100 anytime they order a product from my account. You need to know that stuff. Does that make sense? Go in your compensation plan and just look at it. It shows you, literally, it says one cycle equals $20, and it shows you left team, right team, and it shows you how to build it. So you need to learn that. Like, tonight, look over it, right? So compensation plan, you definitely need to know that. Um, second thing you need to know is invite. Obviously, you know we'll we'll. I, I'm not gonna go into depth on that because you you know your upline definitely will teach you that, or the person you're with should should teach you that. The next thing you should know is edification. And then the last thing, PD or personal development tools. Because if I just got a friend started, you want to be able to give them information that can help protect their brain. So people don't pee or shit on it. Does that make sense? That's what's going to happen. Your friend's going to be fired up, and then they're going to go out in the real world where there's most people that are broke and struggle financially, and they're going to throw all their crap on your friend. And your friend's going to be like, man, yeah, this is probably how life is. I should listen to them. Because everyone has is mostly broke and struggles financially. right? We know the majority rules, but also the majority is broke. Right? And we know that. So don't let your friend go out there and not have a helmet for their head. Like, give them personal development, these tools. Like, Brian Tracy, Les Brown. Like, I was traveling up to, I was, like, in one city. I can't remember. And, like, this person's been in the business for, like, two months. And they're like, yeah, wait, what's Brian, you know, Brian Tracy or Les Brown? And it's like, dude, you got to know, how do you not know these people? Well, that's crazy. How do you not know John C. Maxwell? How do you not know Les Brown? And a lot of it's not even their fault. It's upline. They don't give this information and stress on it. Does that make sense for everyone? You 